you can also write scap velocity as v scap is equal to because this value 2gm divided by r is also under root 2re multiply by g the re is the radius of earth and g is the gravitational field strength so 2re multiply by g is the same as 2gm divided by r. okay let's just use r for simplicity for all kind of material so same you can use any of these formulas calculate the scape velocity of earth question calculate the scape velocity of earth solution since v scap is equal to 2 gm divided by r so what do we get 2 into 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 and mass of earth is 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 divided by r is 6.37 into 10 to the power 6 and whole square root so v scap will become equal to if you solve this it will become equal to 1.1190 10 to the power 4 meter per second or you can just write it 1 point uh, just write it 11.2 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second 10 to the power 3 is kilo so 11.2 kilo meter per second so if any object is given the speed of 11.2 km per second on the surface of earth it will escape the gravitational field so if we need to send up any object out into into the outer space is out of the gravitational field how much energy uh, initial speed it requires 11.2 km per second no matter you give the 11.2 km per second speed to this pen or a truck or a big house or a rocket or a ship if it is given 11.2 km per second initial speed it will escape so it is independent of the mass of the object it doesn't mean that heavier object require higher speed and smaller object require smaller speed yes the energy required by higher object is more and the energy required by smaller object is less but the speed for all kind of objects is same to leave the gravitational field of earth or for other planets you can use this formula actually to find the get the same result if you use 2 into 6.37 to 10 to the power uh, 6 multiply by 9.81 and take the square root you will again get 11.2 km per second okay